What's up everyone? Welcome to the fifth tutorial of Atmega 16. In this tutorial we will discuss the define directive and we will create an infinite loop with the help of wild one and we will try to toggle all the ports of Atmega 16 at a time. So let's start with the compiler. First create a new project in micro C Pro for AVR. Go to project and click on edit project. And here make sure the clock source is selected as external crystal resonator high frequency fast startup. So guys first I will discuss the hash define directive. So if I write hash then define. This directive can be used to give a name to a port like if I am connecting LEDs to port B. So I will write like this hash define then space LEDs then space port B. So so it will be easy to understand that I am using port B for LEDs. So in the same way I will define a name for DDR resistor for port B. Now instead of writing the port name in our programming we can write the defined name in the program. Like instead of port B I will write now LEDs is equal to some value. Because LEDs are defined as port B. So indirectly we are writing this value to port B. So in the same way if we are writing like LEDs underscore DIR which is DDRB resistor is equal to 0xFF. So this instruction will set the direction of port B to output. Now guys I want to discuss the infinite loop and why it is required in the programming. Consider a while statement. For a while we have to write the condition in these round brackets. If this condition is true then the while statement will execute all the instructions under its body. So under this while if I write LEDs is equal to 0x00 then I will provide a delay of 500 milliseconds. Then I will change the value on LEDs from 00 to FF and then again there is a delay of 500 milliseconds. Now suppose I want to execute these all instructions under the while body for infinite time then I have to write the condition while 1 because 1 will always be true for while and the system will never come out from this while 1. So this while 1 will act like an infinite loop for our program and this infinite loop is very important in embedded programming. So let's see what is the output of simulation. First go to build and click on build to compile the program. You can see there is no error in our program and it is finished successfully. So hex file is generated. Go to Proteus ISIS and I already placed this at Mega 16 simulation model. Click on the run button and you may get this type of error. So for that error now double click on at Mega 16 and you can see there is no program file assigned to this simulation model. Browse for the hex file. This is my toggle port dot hex file open this and make sure the clock fuse set to external crystal high frequency and mention the clock frequency here. In this case I am using a 16 megahertz clock frequency then click on ok and again click on this play button to start the simulation and you can see the port B entire port B is blinking. Every port pin is changed from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. So let's try to toggle all ports at a time. First I change the name LEDs1 for port B. We have to change the name LEDs234 and I will do the same with the DDR resistor for every port. Port DDRA, DDRC, DDRD and LEDs2 direction, 3 direction and 4 direction. We have to set the direction here for every port. 2, 3, 4. Now to toggle all the ports at a time I will write LEDs 1, 2, 3, 4 is equal to 0x00 zero zero at the same time and after a delay of 500 milliseconds I will write 0x FF for every port 2, 3 and 4. So let's compile it and see what is the output of simulation. So just hit the play button. There is no need to again browse for the hex file location. Just hit the play button and you will see all the port pins are toggling at the same time. 
we can connect LEDs to any pin of the port. For that go to component mode, click on P and search for LED space red. I prefer red LEDs. So this one is the red LED. Double click on it to add into device list and then search for RES which is a resistance and double click on it to add it into the device list. So first I will place one LED here and a resistance to this LED and connect it to the cathode of the LED. Double click on the resistance and change the value to 330 ohm. I prefer this value for simulation. Now go to terminal mode and select ground and connect the ground to the other end of the resistance and you can connect the anode of this LED to any pin of the microcontroller port. Suppose I am using this PC5 so whenever you run the simulation and you will get the blinking LED simulation for this. This R1 resistance is not really required in simulation but it is required in hardware so always try to connect the resistance with LED. So in the same way you can connect 8 LEDs to a single port of the microcontroller and you have 4 ports of Atmega 16, A, B, C and D. In next video tutorial we will cover some more interfaces and basics of Atmega 16. So stay in contact, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.